We have had a number of exceptional rotary wing platforms for decades for the U.S. Army and throughout the U.S. Department of Defense. But the platforms, they've been fielded for quite some time now. And so I really think it's time for a next generation of vertical lift. We're really enthusiastic about bringing forward new technologies and new capabilities for the warfighter. We are in a digital age, and so we need to embrace some of the technologies that are enabled by that digital age. We think it's time for modernization, and we are really excited that the Army has made this a priority in their budget. So it really is time. They have to modernize. If you've heard General Milley, particularly General Conville, the Army Chief of Staff said that he and the Army Chief have taken a blood oath to not go back on any of the priorities that they've set in terms of modernization. They have to go this way because they have to keep up with the adversaries that we're looking at. The National Defense Strategy says that our adversaries are, are Russia and China, and we need to measure up with what their capabilities are or else we'll fall behind, and that's not acceptable. The Legacy Fleet has, has served us well, but it's also time to look to the future, and that's what this program, the Future Vertical Lift Program, is all about. That's what this V-280 is, is here to show, that we can leap ahead, we can have a revolution, we can get soldiers to the battlefield faster, we can get them to points that are further so we don't have to stop and refuel at as many locations along the way. Now we reduce not only wear and tear on the soldiers, but the airframes, and there's a lot of things that this aircraft represents for the future.